welcome to another exciting adventure in real estate on Locking It In with Deb and Pear. I'm your host, Deb. I'm the real estate Sherpa. I'm a real estate agent in Tacoma, Washington. My co-host is Perrin. I'm Perrin Walker, loan officer NMLS number 173529. I can be reached at 253-226-6454. I work at Mortgage One Northwest and their NMLS number is 82426. Mortgage One Northwest is an equal housing lender. This is not an offer to enter in an agreement. Not all customers will qualify. Information rates and programs are subject to change without notice. All products are subject to credit and property approval. All right. Thank you, Perrin. Yeah, we're sorry. We have to go through that every time. You know, that's just, um, it, it protects us and you. And I also want to let you know that your situation is unique, so don't take anything we say on the program too much to heart. Always consult the properly licensed professional, and don't interpret anything that you hear as legal advice. And with that, even though it's good advice, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with that, uh, I'd like to introduce our guest and welcome to Michael Cunningham. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for having me. Yeah, Michael is with Protect Northwest. Tell us about the company and also how did you get to where you are yeah sounds good so um i was i'm a military veteran um i spent four years in the navy and then i got out after four thought you know i needed to be a father to my daughter um was more important to absolutely to traveling the world and getting protecting everybody else right so i got out after four years um joined the i was in the car business for a little bit uh, going through a custody battle over my daughter and decided, you know, I, I want something better for myself and her and uh, started working at Comcast at their mm -hmm. call center. Then uh, I was doing really well there. They transferred me to the Xfinity Home Department just doing security. And that's what I did in the military. I was doing security as well as I was a primary SAR swimmer. So a lot of a lot of the security portion of everything of my life came from the military. And I left Comcast, went to ADT Security, spent about four years with ADT Security. Then uh, then I went to uh, a company called My Alarm Center, and now I'm with Protech. Okay, and what do you do for Protech? Uh, I, I'm the sales manager there with Protech. Okay, great. Uh, so are you, you're the one people would talk to when they want to get a system set up? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm what, okay. so what you happens? Do you have a Salesforce under you, basically? Or? We're, we're a smaller company, and we're, we're, we're looking to build that. And the ones okay. that once we build uh, more of a team, yeah, we'll have people underneath that. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now, um, I always see advertisements at least once, twice a week in the mail and, right. you know, everywhere yeah. for, for, for ADT and, and all these other major security companies. And... It always seems like a good deal, you know, pay pay nothing now and and sign up and and here's a contract. How, how do you really compare the differences because you can't even t compare their services really unless you give them your address and talk to them and I, I, you know and and how is Protect different than these companies and what is it in particular I don't know. Yeah, I guess so, I have a million questions that I'm trying to ask here. I'm yeah, that's totally that. fine. So uh, a lot of the, the companies like ADT, uh, Protection One, Comcast, are all national companies, okay? So you're dealing with someone, um, the corporate office is not even in the state of Washington, really, and that's one of the big differences between Protech and ADT and things like that is Protech's a local company. Uh, our, our office, our corporate office is right here in University Place in, Tac uh, in Tacoma in Washington. So... Our mindset and the vision of, of ProTech is basically we want to be the largest security provider in Washington State only. We don't want to branch out outside Washington, which, one, it, it helps with the customer service, and it helps a lot with the pricing as well. Yeah, and everything is catered toward the local market. It you know, is, what, totally. what they need, and instead of having national plans that are kind of broadly appealing. And, it, it totally is, yes. Yeah. Is yeah. security... So are security systems and security companies regulated by Washington State? Uh, they're regulated by Washington State, also regulated by you know nationally as well. Are they? The government, yes. Yeah. What kind of what kind of things do they regulate? What, uh, what's important? 
Uh, what's important to the, the security provider, or um, to what's the important to, to the security provider, and then and to, to, to the, the to us. so what's what, and, and what's important to I mean, for example, what's important to me and Protec is you know we we protect our customers either on the business side or the residential side, right? And uh, we want to make sure that they're not there. We don't just put a security system in their home and then we're done, right? We want to be able to touch base with them and follow up with them throughout throughout the time they, they live at their house or they have their business. That's our intentions. Right. So they, they actually can talk to a live person. Absolutely. And the person knows what, where they live. You know, they, they're familiar with where they live and maybe. Or work, yeah, just, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, that's always nice, you know, yeah. just, you know. The local presence, is, I think, is really good when it comes to something like that. So. Okay, yeah. great. Now, do you see any any? I know that they, they, these security companies have all these different features, and and some of them sound kind of fancy, and some of them just sound like, yeah, why would you need those? Um, right. right. And I, I don't know. One thing I don't think I've seen too much is about uh, related to smart homes, because you could have, you know, even the the your panels, I suppose, technically could be pat hacked. Your your security panels. Yeah, so um, a lot of that, uh, when you deal with companies that like uh, Simply Be Safe or some brain capability stuff like that, sometimes um, when, when they send you the equipment, you install it yourself. There's not a technician that comes out and installs it. So basically, when you install that, you're, you're putting it on an open network. Where with like ProTech and things like that, we, we really strive on the protection of our customers we're very we're local smart and secure okay that's our motto local smart and secure and the the benefit of that is that we 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 do everything we can to keep it on a close close network so do you work out with the, the local Wi-Fi as well then uh, the only so on the security on the intrusion side you don't need to have secu uh, on Wi-Fi the only thing you need Wi-Fi for is basically the automation portion of things so like the cameras things like that that's where we need internet Okay. Things that if you just want intrusion or smoke, um, smoke monitoring, things like that. That's it not doesn't, on Wi-Fi. It doesn't require Wi-Fi. No, the R, So what happens is the RF signal passes. We we put a, cell, a cellular communicator inside the system, and what that does is it allows the RF signal to pass through cell towers, pings off cell towers now mm -hmm. instead of going through a phone line, which is, it, it's not. It's not as. So secure. what happens if power goes out? Does that affect you? Uh, no, it doesn't affect our, our clients at all because we have – it's backed up by battery. Okay, mm -hmm. great. That, yeah. that's, Absolutely. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Now, um, what was I thinking? So, so you've never had something like a virus in the, in the, the system like – in, in my all, all the time I've been in the security business since 2009, I, I ADT, Comcast, my alarm center, now Protec. I've never had to deal with uh, with someone actually getting into our systems. Okay. So it's been pretty okay. secure, and uh, um, the platform Alarm.com, which we use, it, it is a pretty it's a very secure company. It, it's okay. uh, top notch. Is that one, a common platform for security companies? It is, too? and it's one of the best in, in the industry. It really okay. is. And that we, we, like I said, we we have the automation portion of things where we can do it. Um, we have an app, everything you can control remotely on your phone as well. You can turn off, turn on and off your security system. You can open and close your garage doors, your front doors. You can lock and unlock your front doors. On the business side of, as well, we can do the same thing. Do you turn on and off your oven, or is that a separate app? That, we cannot <laughs> do that right now. <laughs> That's not part of security. <laughs> Maybe one day with the technology, we'll be able to do that. Okay. And so I know there's things like alarms for things such as leaks. Do you have? We do. We we do flood detection. Any kind of thing you can probably pretty much manage. We can do. We have flood detection. We we carbon monoxide. We have uh, fire protection. We have. Um, I mean, there's new devices coming out. Going to be coming out in 2019 where we're going to be able to control your propane gas. You're going to be able to turn on and off your propane as well as be able to turn on and off your water sprinklers as well. Yeah, wow. that, so that would really be And you have burglary, of course. If they, yes, it, absolutely. And also, I would like to be able to turn on and off my valves. Yep, and you plumbing. will be able to uh, do that, and it's mm -hmm. really kind of nice. So before you even call the plumber, um, you, you, we can actually get you set up, and you can just turn off your water and stuff right there from your cell phone. That would be awesome. You know, I think also would be really nice, you know, we have these thick panels we hang on the wall, but I've always kind of envisioned the wall itself as being the keypad and... 
you know, if you just tap a wall and then you see all the controls in front of you and <laughs> that might be a that little bit that might be you, you know we're probably like house, we're probably five to ten years out on that panel, probably. You know. <laughs> five to ten years out maybe on that I one i also have this vision for floors so when you get up in the morning with your bare feet you don't have to step on the cold wood floor and you, the you know floor they have, have heated flooring for that right do we, that? I don't offer that but just talk to a floor specialist they can do that I, I didn't think they had that yet where it's yeah. automatic there's floor heating stuff now yeah. we need to get digital, a floor specialist digital, that does huh? that on the show hun yeah, that would be nice. I'll look forward. And then we need him to come over to our house. Right. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just envision a world where I wake up and and my my breakfast is made. You know, everything's uh, the I'm heat's sorry, on, honey. everything's I'm warm, sorry. and and <laughs> you know the alarm automatically turns off, and you know. Just have your husband get up out of bed every morning, right, and do that for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm happy to wait until noon for everything, I'm good with that. Right. <laughs> All right. So tell me about what are there any what what are the the features that you would recommend at the bare minimum that people would have? So and that and that's a that's uh that's a great question, but that's an open ended question in the security business. Or on the business side or the residential side, the, the main in, in what we do is we go to the business or the home and really out and you know get down to their the needs and wants of the the business owner or the homeowner because everybody's going to have different wants and needs. Some people just want window sensors. Some people want you know everything, including automation and things like that. So, um, you, I mean, usually most homes have three doors, which is a front door, back door, and, a, and the, the man door to the garage. Um, that's that's most uh, doors, most houses these right. days. But other than that, I mean, it's more based on wants and needs of a cl the client. Okay. It really is. I have a question. So yeah. we have a system, and we have about two more years on our contract, and we can hardly wait to get over with that. Um, when, then we'll come to you. Appreciate that. Um, can you just transfer our system over? Because we will have paid for it. Uh, well, they no. use different equipment. Yeah, so, so, some, sometimes different? sometimes we can, sometimes we can. It all depends on the system. One being if it's uh, older than ten years. Most of the time nowadays, anything older than ten years, we cannot take over. We're gonna have to. Some of it's it. older than ten years. Some of it's like two years old, three years old. Well, and, that's, uh, and that all depends. We can cameras. The cameras think, are new. None of example. it's older than ten years. So we can all see. We can all go. In, we can go in and have our technician. And we there's dealer codes that we can punch into the keypads, things like that, where um, we can see if we can take it over. But a lot, if there's a block in there or it's priority, like we can't do it. Like for example, there's a company out there that is strictly priority that nobody can take over, and it's called Comcast. Okay. It's, yeah, it's we're prior, not with Comcast. Yeah, it's all priority. Nobody can take over that equipment. So what that would do is just require some new equipment in the house. But you know, nowadays not that you necessarily want the other equipment. It's not necessarily. It, it all. Better, it's a, like you know. I said, it all depends on, on um, what's in the house. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So are there statistics that would show uh, certain features um, help um, a lot more than others, or or that it's it's worth spending the extra money for. There, uh, there's a lot of research out there that you guys, that anybody can do. But just a, out of example, I mean, you go to crime reports and you can see all the crimes that happen in Washington. FBI even states that um, you're an 80 percent chance of not being broken into with window stickers and yard signs. So the, that deterrence it really helps out a lot with clients mm -hmm. and peace of mind and things like that as well. And do you think cameras make a lot of difference? Oh, cameras make a huge yeah. difference. And the, the cameras that we offer, so we have the wireless options where you can view it live on your phone as well. Then we also have the CCTV option, which are 4K cameras, really high, high definition, really being able to pick, picture someone's face. And what that footage is used for is for, for the police officers and, and, and the authorities to go in and say, okay, we can, they have video footage and you know they can see face recognition and things like that but with the 4k cameras you can actually see license plates and things uh, like that so it makes it really easier to help catch uh, are those becoming pretty common now 4k cameras th they are yeah. yeah it's just like your tvs now right so you got yeah. 4k t televisions now well we have 4k cameras that we offer at protect yep that's yeah. that's awesome yeah, it that's is great. so let me let me tell you a little bit about our history with alarm systems we used we used to live in in out in purdy and by key center okay uh, in Gig Harbor. So we never had an alarm system. And then one day, 
Someone broke into our house. It was a neighbor our... across the street. Was though. it? Are you sure? Yeah, it was we the innocent. Didn't... Well, anyways, we don't know who it was. But they broke in. They stole our checks that, that were hidden. We thought they were hidden. Stole a bunch of other stuff. But the main thing was they stole our checks and started writing checks all over Washington State. Um, so we got an alarm system and never had no, no trouble in that house. So we moved to, to Parkland. Um, and we put had an alarm system put in because we had learned our lesson, and we didn't have it turned on, and she was upstairs sleeping. All right, so let's get some context here. Okay. I had just come back from uh, uh, from Singapore or the Philippines, somewhere somewhere in Asia, and just the day before, and I was sleeping, and I was really, really out of it, so... So someone came yeah, in and, anyway. and stole two laptops, went up into the back bedroom where she was sleeping and she saw him and she said hi to him and he, he took off running yeah I, I was not with it and he and broke, I, up, he my broke our back window here. to get in <laughs> and we had an alarm system he had to walk past it to to uh to get to her it um, wasn't set but you, you, it's on the wall um so that that's that's our experience with with the alarm systems you got to turn them on huh yeah but with nowadays yeah. like back in the old days yeah you had to manually hit the keypad Go to the keypad, turn it on and off. So it was a really hassle for a lot of individuals, a lot of uh, customers and clients that had that. Nowadays, with the the, the app remote, being able to control everything remotely on your app allows you to literally uh, activate and deactivate your alarm before you yeah. even get into your house or before you leave. I always find that I don't use that because then I always have to mess with opening up the app and doing the buttons, and I usually have other stuff in my hands. And I <laughs> yeah, but so what's really nice about Protech and Alarm.com using their platform is that you, um, you – you can do it in the car, so right. So when you get in the car, you yeah. get your stuff in the car. You sit down in your car seat. You get buckled, or you get in your seat and buckle up, and things like that. And then you can actually go in and actually arm your alarm. Or the way, um, even when you're away, huh? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, you can do that anywhere. Absolutely, anywhere. anywhere, anywhere in the world, as long as you have an internet connection I, I always, to your phone. What I really like to do, though, is I love to answer the doorbell when I'm not at home. I just love the the doorbell that. cameras yeah. are a huge hit lately, and we do we do at Protech offer the doorbell camera as well, and you can actually talk to someone live. Um, you can, you don't have to be home, but they can't see you, but you can see them, and so it's Excellent. really kind of nice. You can see if it's UPS, FedEx at your door delivering delivering those packages to you and things like that. Tell them to put it in the back. You can actually yep, you can actually talk to them. They like I said, you can you they can't see you, so you can be right here in the studio, and you can actually talk to someone at your home. And it's really, it's really amazing being able to do that, um, mm -hmm. and, and knowing that UPS and FedEx and all them delivering your packages and things like that, and not just leaving it on your porch. You can say, hey, you know, can you drop it off to the backyard, or can you take it to the neighbor's yeah. yard, and things like that. So it's really, really beneficial. You know, I also like it too because we don't have a window in the front, so we can't really see who's at the door. There's no way, so we. I just turn on the panel. I have a, I, I have a, camera. I have a lot of clients that. Uh, before be, when the doorbell rings or someone walks up to the doorbell they already know before they even get to the, the knocking on the door and so they can see who it is and be like oh it's a solicitor i don't want to i don't want to answer the door right now oh it's my mother-in-law i don't want to i definitely <laughs> don't want to answer the door right now right so yeah yeah it, it, it's really awesome although you have to make sure though if 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 you you have two systems set up in different houses that you have the right one activated well, and that's what's really nice about the Protag app is that in the upper right-hand corner or the left-hand corner, one of the two, you can actually go in there and control multi-unit systems, right? So if you had multiple homes or multiple businesses, you can go in there and review and, and see what's going on with each location. So it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, now, what, what do you think is some of the things people do uh, automatically that, that are – security red flags or mistakes that people make uh, quite often more than others uh, a lot of a lot of um couple things here is one people leave the doors unlocked still and we're in the 21st century and people are still leaving their front doors locked unlocked mm -hmm. uh people are leaving their garages doors open forgetting that hey, you know I, i'm thinking they shut the garage door but it's really open now it's open all day so most break-ins happen from 7 a.m to 4 p.m Really, okay. and, and the, the reason why is because people most people are, are gone. gone. Everybody's gone, right? So it makes sense for burglars to come in during the day, 
people think a lot of it happens well, when at we night. When we arrived, it was about nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they they the the burg- the the, intr- the intruder intruders think that everybody's gone, right? Your neighbors are gone, things the like that. No, gone. Cars gone. Yeah. And that was the first day I'd been home, so there was no change. He he could have been yeah. watching my son and me. Yeah, yeah and burglars, yeah. and we were both yeah, gone. We had both left. Me. You know, yeah. and, and thieves nowadays will sit uh, sit and sit in your, you know, your cola, your cul de sac n- near your home somewhere and hide and mm-hmm. watch your movements. And you know, when they want to get in, they're going to get in. That's why it's really important to have security for sure. Yeah, and I, I've noticed too, people tend to hide things around their house and they don't really think about it too much. Uh, when I'm hiding stuff, first of all, I think, okay, if I were a tall person, would I be able to see that? You know, or or what's if I was going to ransack a place, what would I do? Well, I dump out the drawers. I, you know, I'm not going to hide something in a drawer, right? It's not going to be. A lot of your uh, secrets, honey. A lot of people do. That's not a secret. (laughs) Don't check my drawers. (laughs) Where do you live? No, I'm just. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I, I I know I've heard the master bedroom is a common. Place, it is first place to look because that's where your jewelry is. The, re- the reason why ma- uh, burgers love the master Not bedroom mine. one is jewelry, things that are are itemized on your uh, on your uh, your insurance, right? Like old jewelry, like p- grandma's insurance that's been passed down and passed down from line to line, things like that. Credit cards, guns are real big. Like uh, homeowners place guns in their master bedroom because that's where they you know they sleep they, they and they want that safe, protection, yeah. right? They want to be safe. So when a when a you homeowner keep it close to you then <laughs> well when a homeowner's gone they're not going to bring their guns right so uh, then now you're having someone break in that may be disarmed and now is armed right so yeah. uh, a lot of those things and a lot of those things like jewelry credit cards cash things like that burglars can use go get gas if they need to things like that on their credit cards or go buy other things but also get weapons I've seen it before where someone breaks into someone's house and now uses their their weapon in an emergency yeah. scene and now they're not getting their their guns back for seven to ten years so also garages for tools right garages for tools are big because for uh, are burglars expensive. they can take those to a pawn shop and go get an easy buck right absolutely I mean you can get a lot of money for t- tools are expensive you can or you they're, can sell big. you know they're or you can sell them uh, like a lot of people sell them on the black market or go to pawn shops yeah. and, you know, or sell them to um, uh, melting facilities. Right. I mean, it's an easy way for burglars to go get their drug money. Yeah. It really and, is. And, you know, here's the sad thing. You know, you also have to watch where you put your bike, even if it's locked. You, you need a, an appropriate lock, like a U-lock and a chain lock and a proper place to put it on. Uh, you, you can have a $600 bike. It gets stolen, and that person who stole it, they're going to sell it for 25 bucks. Right. It's just... It's it's a horrible crime. Yeah. That makes it more of a crime, in my opinion, because the person that stole it didn't even get the value out of it. So you guys you know? monitor your own systems, anyway, right? I've had a bike stolen and another one they tried to steal, but I had the right kind of lock. Yeah. And so they were able to cut that cable, but they weren't able to drive off with it. Oh, well. So. Yes, to answer your question, we, we, do, we, we do monitor. Um, do you guys get a lot of false alarms? That, that's not I mean that a problem it, it false alarms are a problem and, and so what happens with the way we do business is protect as business and, and it was the like this with I know with my alarm center as well but we would call the homeowners or the business owners first to make sure everything is okay when we have an alarm yeah because in the state of Washington in certain areas you can get fined for having false alarms yeah. which um, that's why we always call the owners first, and we always like to have at least two emergency contacts because of that reason. And then we always call that the primary and then the secondary just to make sure every, everything's okay. You call both of them, we even do. if you talk to the primary? Uh, we do, yes. That's yeah. that's okay. unknown. I've never seen that before, and I think that's a great policy. It is, and even though, like, say, for example, the, pr- uh, the primary is like, no, nobody's home, we're going to still call 911, and we're also going to call the second emergency and say, hey, there's been an alarm, we've already dispatched 911. Excellent. Yes. I, I'm glad. That's that's great. That's another reason why I want to go with your company now. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. I mean, uh, I know we strive to be to be really good, and uh, it's a great local company for sure. Yeah, we're with Vivint right now. I'm sorry, then you're not fully protected. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, I just had to... Oh, um, tell us, is there a difference between... Home invasion and a break-in. What is that distinction? Yeah, so a break-in is basically quick, 
jewelry cash get out kind of thing is a break in more of a break in right a home intrusion is you're going in there and grabbing everything out of your home really pretty much so like you're violating the whole the whole house trashing it things like that okay where you actually have a little bit more time to grab more t like TVs playstations things like that where where they can get more value okay so just a simple break in when they're looking under the couch that's just that that would be considered more of a break in because um, burglars usually are in in your home for maybe five minutes less. Okay. On average. Okay. So if they stay superficial, it would be break in. Would be. Yeah. There. I mean, more break ins are more common than home invasions, but yeah. home invasion, someone's really want to get they into. They want to find house. everything. That yeah. They they, can. they search your whole house for everything. So. so. Okay. What does the homeowner need to do in order to receive your service? Do they have to get a permit or anything like that? Mm, or do it, you take care of that? We we take care of that for all the customers. Now it depends on what you guys want to do. Um, th certain things might require a permit that we get, but uh, we let the customers know. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, um, what what is actually the number one reason people get these systems? Is it because their neighbor was broken into because they were or? It's a good There's deal. different reasons for everybody to get security. One, they heard of a break-in in their area. Two, they, their own house was broken into or they've had a history of break-ins or they've had some kind of uh, experience with a break-in in the past. Uh, so a lot of people have different re uh, reasons for having security. One, protection of kids, right? Teenage kids, you know, they like to break in and out of houses. You know, they like to sneak in and out of houses and uh, being able to control that a little bit more on a parent's end. Like, I'm a, I'm a parent myself, and knowing that I know when my daughter's coming and going in the house is real huge. But on top of that, you also know when your cleaners are there, your dog watchers are there, and things like that. So it's more of a peace of mind for the business yeah. owner or the homeowner as well. Okay. Now, would you say there's a difference if whether or not, as far as the deterrent goes, whether or not it may, makes a difference if it's monitored versus unmonitored? Because I the, don't think the thief can tell, can they? Well, the, the, it's a big difference to having a monitor to an unmonitored You're safer, security. Right? So you are safe, and the reason why is because it's more on a secured network compared to an unsecured network. Two, you're having, um, if you are gone, say you're in Florida on a, on a vacation with your family, someone breaks in your, your house and it's a non-monitored security system, who's calling, who's, calling the, who's calling the cops? You're not going to know until you get home. You won't. So, I mean, and some the app won't tell you. Some apps okay. will tell you, but now you're taking time away from your family on your vacation and saying, hey, yeah. you, gotta, you personally got to go call 911, say someone's broken in, calling your brother-in-law, calling your brother, calling whoever, whoever you, uh, sure. you trust to have keys to your house to go, hey, can you go check on my house, make sure everything's there, things like that. You're taking time away from your family and what matters most to homeowners or, or business owners is family, right? So mm -hmm. having a monitor system knowing that, hey, you know, I got your back. We're going to do it for you. We're going to call 911 for you. We're going to call you and say, hey, everything's, are you guys okay? Make sure everything is okay. And we're going to call you to follow up and just make sure everything is good. Knowing that and having that, you can, you get, you get back to what matters most, and that's your family, your kids, things like that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So what's, what's the easiest way for um, our listeners to um, get in touch with you, to ask you questions? Or what's your phone number and you your email address and all that? that? Yeah, so my, my, my name is Michael Cunningham. My phone number is 360-689-9804, and my email address is mcunningham, C-U-N-N-I-N. G H A M at protechnorthwest.com. All right. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Yeah. Now, all right. One more thing before we go. I have a problem sometimes. Uh, I'll go downstairs in the morning and I'll go in the kitchen and I'll make breakfast and I'll come out. And as I'm carrying all this stuff, the, the alarm, alarm goes, goes off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Sensor. Yeah, you either one. Um, so there's two types of security systems. There's a alarm stay and an alarm way. You probably have it on, on alarm way, and you triggered the motion detector. 
Right. It's just when we have the away set, which is why we don't do it anymore. Yeah, so that, yeah. that's an easy fix. Or like before, because a lot of people nowadays, and that's what's really cool about having the app nowadays instead of running to the keypad, it, it, is most people take their cell phones to the bedroom, right? That's their alarm yeah. clocks now, things like that. So it's right next to them. So when you wake up, you can go just ahead and just, off. just yeah. turn it off. Well, or I'm hit not arm thinking stay. about that in the morning. You know, I always forgot. So, so, but anyway, the motion detector catches me. And it, it will, you, you know, uh, so but it should... doesn't catch me. It doesn't catch me at the first when I go downstairs. It catches on the way back. It catches me only on the way back. But at least you know it's working, though. Yeah, well, it... yeah, I, I mean, that's telling me if, if I'm small enough, you know, I, I might be able to get away with something, right? Well, I mean, thank you for being on the show, anyway. Michael Cunningham, <laughs> Pro Tech. Uh, my name's Perrin Walker. My number is 253-226-6454. And next week, who, who do we have? We have the, the plumbing guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next week, we'll be speaking with Brian Harding of the, the, the plumbing and, and drain, company. drain company. Yeah, sorry, I, I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, yeah, the plumbing and drain company next week. So we'll be talking about plumbing, which is really cool. I'm really excited for this topic. So. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, thank you, and we'll see you again next nice week. week. All right, thank you guys for having me.